your ATS or automatic transfer switch is basically the go-between between utility power and generator power. There's a common load fed from this transfer switch, usually all your emergency panels. During a test or an actual power failure, there's a time delay before the ATS sends a signal to your generator, starting it. When the voltage and frequency of your generator is acceptable by the voltage sensing network in here, it sends the signal over to the mechanism. It will open up normal power and then close generator. Now you're online and everything is stable at this point. When normal power or utility comes back online, there's a time delay preventing the generator from just switching back. Just in case normal power is unstable for a while, usually 10 minutes is a good number. After 10 minutes, voltage sensing in your uh, digital display is acceptable for utility. It will send a signal to the mechanism once again. It will open generator first, close your normal power. Now you're back on utility. Your generator will cool down for a certain amount of time and then you're ready for your next power failure. The ATS is the heart of emergency power. Your generator has to be up, and up to snuff for the transfer switch to accept the power. It has to be up to snuff for utility to be accepted by the power, but nothing happens without it. 